Today, I will tell you the story of the horse and the loaded ass. An idle horse and an ass, which is a donkey, laboring under a heavy burden. A burden is something heavy you must carry. We're traveling the road together. The ass, ready to faint. Faint is when your body is too hot and tired, so you just fall down under his heavy load. The ass entreated the horse to assist him and lighten his burden. Entreat is when you ask for something so strongly by taking some of it upon his back. The horse was ill-natured. Ill-natured is when you have a bad personality. The horse was ill-natured and refused to do it. Upon the, which the poor ass tumbled down in the midst of the highway and expired. Expired is when you died. So the poor ass died. The countryman then took the whole burden and laid it upon the horse together with the skin of the dead ass. So today, I will tell you the story of the belly and the member. Belly is your stomach. Members are the other parts of your body. One fine day, it occurred to the members of the body occurred is when you suddenly think of something that they were doing all the work and the belly was having all the food so they held a meeting and after a long discussion discussion is a very serious talk they decided to strike work until the belly Consented to take its proper share of the work. Consented is when you agree to something. So, for a day or two, the hands refused to take the food. The mouth refused to receive the food. And the teeth had no work to do. But, after a day or two, the members began to find that they themselves were not very in a very active condition. A condition is the way you are, how you feel. The hands could hardly move. The mouth was dry, while the legs were unable to support the rest. So, thus they found. Even the belly, in its dull, quiet way, was doing necessary work for the body. And that all must work together, or the body will go to pieces. Go to pieces is when something stops working correctly. So now, I will tell you the story of the bees, the drones, and the wasps. Some bees had built their honeycomb in the hollow. A honeycomb is the structure a bee makes to keep its honey and eggs. Hollow is the empty center of a tree. In the hollow of an old oak tree. The drones asserted that it was their doing and belonged to them. The drones are the worker bees. The cause was brought into the court before a judge wasp. A wasp is a large insect similar to a bee. Knowing something of the parties, he thus addressed them. The plaintiffs and the defendants are so much alike in shape and color as to render the ownership a doubtful manner. The plaintiffs, the plaintiffs are the people who are accusing someone and the defendants. The defendants are the people who are being accused of the crime by the plaintiffs. Let each party take a hive to itself and build up a new honeycomb 
that from the shape of the cells and the taste of the honey, the lawful proprietors of the property in dispute may appear. The bees readily assented to the plan, but the drones declined it. Assent is when you agree to something. Whereupon the wasp gave judgments. It is clear now who made the comb and who cannot make it. The court adjudges the honey to the bees. Hi, I'm Matt from Ting and Ye Noi Kids, and I'm going to read you a story. The Lion and the Three Bulls. Three bulls pastured together. A lion lay in ambush in hope of attacking them and making them his prey. But he was afraid to attack them while they were together. Having at last, by guileful speeches, succeeded in separating them, he attacked them without fear and fed alone and feasted on them one by one at his own leisure. The message of this story is that in union, we have strength. Pastured. Pastured is when animals go in the field and eat grass and hay. The cows pastured in the fields. Ambush. Ambush is to attack and surprise the enemy. The soldiers ambushed the enemy in the jungle. Prey. Prey is the animal that another animal catches and eats. The lion ate his prey. Guileful. To be guileful means to be sneaky and clever. To be sly and cunning, but intelligent. Feasted. Feasted means to have eaten lots of food. The boys feasted on Christmas Day. Union. Union means to be together. The people were in union and they were happy.